the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Hi everyone, so I just went and grabbed a mug of peppermint tea and a little chocolate and I thought I'd just have a little sit down quickly and essentially just talk about or talk to those that find Christmas quite troublesome uh, for whatever reason because I was just having a think the other day and I thought you know there's really no other calendar event that's quite like Christmas in that you can have such polarised emotions among like my like many nations so you have those people that are super excited they can't wait christmas is their favorite time of year like me and then you have other people where instead of it being a moment of like joy and excitement it's just full of dread for numerous different reasons and i thought during this vlogmas it was really important that i acknowledge those that, you know that aspect of festivities um because i think sometimes you know you can get so wrapped up in what you're doing and you don't think about those other people that you know may find the season quite difficult and i thought i would you know try and offer some pointers on how to you know make the most of this season and find joy regardless of how you feel about Christmas or festivities in general. So yeah, I hope this helps someone and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Right, so I just wanted to start off with some verses um, from the Bible that, you know, I feel like there's a lot of like, I mean, I mean the Bible, it, it couldn't be more relatable, but there are so many verses that like kind of jump out to me um for people that might be finding this season difficult and so there's like matthew chapter 5 verse 4 which says blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted and there's so many others um but that really is the one that has been kind of in my mind because I think one of the main reasons why people might find the festive uh, season quite difficult is because it's a time where you naturally start reflecting on your year, not even relatives necessarily that you have lost over the course of the year or previous years that you think about at Christmas time, but also the things that you have lost. Because you might have not lost um, a physical person, but it might be a relationship, it might be um, a job or mourning things that didn't come to pass that you thought would come to pass and I think that's really the the root of of um, why Christmas can become quite heavy for some is because it just has this natural um, inclination towards reflection because it's so close to the end of the year and naturally as you get to the end of the year you really start to reflect on, on everything um, and it's quite hard to um, to stop yourself from reflecting on everything. But yeah, I'm gonna share some pointers um, on how to find um, some joy. And this might seem like an unusual first point, but it's to acknowledge the feeling. So whatever that feeling is of negativity or dread, um, acknowledge that feeling, like feel that feeling. Don't try to pretend it's not there because I think you could like, overcorrect too much and go too far in the opposite direction where you're trying to be like oh yeah and no, everything's fine I'm fine I'm fine and everything's fine and then one day it'll be something so minor um and it'll be like a case of the straw that broke the camel's back um and then you have like this random outburst because you've been trying to tell yourself that everything's fine and everything's great for so long so I would say first and foremost acknowledge the feeling and my second point is to find and cultivate your own joy. You know, the ways that you could do this, for example, are starting a new tradition around Christmas and do something that you really enjoy doing. Like maybe you like baking, maybe you like, you know, going out 
for walks um you know and getting you know that crisp morning walk vibe i you know that's something quite special about that you can't um manufacture crisp morning walks or maybe your neighbors and people in the area put christmas lights up and you might enjoy going and doing a little tour around your neighborhood to go and look at the christmas lights in people's front gardens or in their windows just you know essentially just find something that you enjoy and start that tradition make it something that you can enjoy something that you can look forward to and something that will ultimately give you joy my third point is to get in community i always think as a christian that the devil loves us to isolate ourselves oh does he want us to just sit in our own self-pity and just waste away our lives feeling like absolute crap get in community even if it's one person one person that you can share your thoughts your feelings with they say a problem shared is a problem halved and i a hundred percent believe that meet up with a friend um over the christmas period go out for a meal um if by chance you think you have no friends whatsoever you could look for events that are happening in your area or if you don't want to go out look for events that are happening virtually online that you can get involved in that you can join meet other people um talk and communicate we are we are built to be in community to talk with one another and i think that's another reason why like 2020 and 2021 was so tough for a lot of people because you know even for introverts because i'm an introvert but i noticed at the end of it i had almost forgotten how to like socialize it's like i had lost a lot of my social cues <laughs> that i used to have um so it's really important um find community find your people get involved in things and yeah community and my next point is to check what you are consuming now another bible verse matthew chapter 6 verse 22 says the eye is the lamp of the body if your eyes are healthy your whole body will be full of light and i think at this time of the year and actually all throughout the year you really have to be so careful with what you are taking in not only through your eyes but also in your ears who are you listening to who are you allowing to speak into your life what are you watching how is that impacting your thought processes and your overall general health and well-being you do not need to watch the news eight times a day to listen to the same stuff over and over again in fact i would advise that you know maybe you just take a break from the news and let's get onto social media how many hours do you spend on social media a day a week or a month during the festive season particularly i think if you know it's all up to the individual but you, if you know you are the sort of person that you go onto instagram for example and you can see all of these pictures that people have you know put together that give you the impression that they have the absolute perfect life which they don't because nobody has a perfect life i don't care what anyone <laughs> says there is no there's no one out there i'm convinced that isn't going through something or isn't as like attached to somebody that is going through something everyone knows someone that's going through something and if they don't it's probably them that's going through something okay but if you know you are likely to forget what i just said um, and you'll look at these pictures and you'll think oh look at the wonderful gifts that they got oh look at their lovely house look at their lovely tree look at all of these wonderful things they look really happy oh they got all their family and friends around them and you know they got a puppy and all these you know everything just looks wonderful and you, that's going to make you feel bad 
take a social media break. Come back in January when, you know, everything calms down a bit. Just be aware of what you're consuming and how that is making you feel and behave. But yeah, I really hope that this helps someone to find some joy in this season. I don't think anyone should be down in the dumps at Christmas time. It is supposed to be a wonderful time that marks the birth of Jesus. It's one of the best stories in the whole entire world. It's the beginning of good news. And so I just don't think that in a season of good news and joy and a moment where we're celebrating um, the birth of our Lord and Saviour, that people should be feeling down in the dumps. So please, please, <laughs> I really hope that this helps. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you have any other pointers of how people can find joy during this season, perhaps you're someone that struggled with Christmas in the past. Um, how have you found joy? Um, I'm sure this, you know, your pointers could help somebody. So do not hesitate to um, leave a comment down below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you intend to stick around, do not hesitate to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.